here we are with the Notespeed web version. And at the moment, I've got some uh, things set up inside here. So what I'm gonna do is run over the core features of the application. Over here on the top left-hand side, there is a clear cut menu. As you can see at the top, there's a priority section and it goes all the way down to news. So let's start with the priority section. So what is the priority section? Essentially, when you star tasks in Notspy, whether they're deep inside projects or in your inbox, for example, they will appear here in the priority section. Essentially, this is for you to, you know, you could be using it to either focus on the tasks that you are working on currently, or uh, you just want to have a bunch of tasks for the day to work on. Um, but all of the task information comes up, things like comments, um, and all of the information on due dates, and, and you can still edit the task and complete tasks from priority. So let's jump over to Inbox. Now, Notspy, if you don't know, is focused heavily on GTD. Uh, that's what the system was based off. So in Inbox is quite important for capturing new tasks to process later. So in Notspy, you can email in uh, using your specific Notspy uh, email address. Mine is chesidelessio13834 at notspy.me. You'll get a very similar one, and it means basically that you can actually email in stuff. When you email in stuff, the title of the email will be your subject line, um, and also any comments that you have will be uh, attached, and any attachments that you have will be inside that task. And they will appear in the section here, so uh, that's a good way for you to actually have that uh, at hand when you're completing the task. Down on the left hand side, you can move into projects. As you see, I've created a new clients list as an example. You can add new tasks by hitting the plus button in the bottom right hand corner. From here, you can add any task name you like. Um, it's really easy to create these. That's one thing I was pretty interested in. Uh, both tasks and projects, being able to create them was very simple. Um, but essentially, this project folder allows you to bring together the tasks and actions. Um, you can monitor everything from a side panel. So you can actually see from here the activities, um, the labels, the filtering, and what kind of team members are actually doing things inside this folder. And at any given time, any of the attachments that are currently inside the project, which is quite nice. You can also sort any of the items inside there too, based on things. Uh, and as you set up your, um, your entire project folder, you can actually have specific uh, colors, which is quite nice. Um, imagine if you wanted uh, different styles, and also you can actually set labels as well. Inside here, you can also convert them to templates too, which is quite interesting. That's a sort of different feature, feature there. Um, and you can also multi-select items. So pitting this one will allow you to uh, complete multiple items or change their location or information. So as we look as when you add a task, uh, let's start from the project folder. So up in the top left-hand corner, you can actually assign it to a project folder. Over here, which I really like, is the ability to detect a time, how long it would take you to complete that task. You have a good selection here, uh, and it's one of the things that many of the other task management apps don't actually get involved in. So as you can see, the date here is quite valuable. You can actually go and change the date and set exactly the time you want to complete this. You can even set every uh, reoccurrence based on this, which is quite nice, uh, whether it's every day, every month, or whatever you like. There is a category section, which I'll explain in a minute, but Evernote Reminders is one here. You can also edit uh, the comments. Uh, the comments are quite nice because you don't, you don't have to limit yourself to specifically text, which some of the features like Dropbox limit you only to replying with a comment, but this actually allows you to reply with checklist attachments and any of the connected services that you have, which can go and allow you to go a bit deeper with your with your actual um, with the people you work with. So you can actually assign these tasks once you add more people to the project folder, um, and also all activity will appear here too. You can also clone each of the sections, which is quite nice. Um, in case you like the task, you can clone it. You can even convert an entire task to a project. Let's say with this new client project folder, the client turned into a really big client. <laughs> Maybe that would deserve them becoming a project folder. One other thing that I really liked about this is the ability that without, if you go out, um, it actually has an unsaved comment here. So um, on the web, if you're using it and you have a power outage, this will remain offline and resync once back online. So you can sync up here in the top left hand corner, which gives you the ability to keep everything in check. Now, as I mentioned at the start, the experience on web is very similar to one on iOS and Android, and even on Mac and PC. So I wanted to share with you the web experience. The web experience does most of the work, and it actually is quite an impressive experience. 
One thing that I did enjoy was the category section. So as you can see, I've created an Evernote Reminders category, and this was simply created by connecting the Evernote service over to Notsby. Once I created this, it was quite interesting. So what I could do is, as soon as I created a reminder on Evernote um, and set a date there, it essentially brought this into my Notsby area, which was quite nice because I could actually have access directly to the note that I wanted with all of the information, essentially creating a task out of it. As you enter and add tasks to this section, just by hitting here, you can actually add reminders on Evernote note uh, reminders, which is quite cool. So you can actually affect your Evernote experience from here and vice versa, uh, which is very beneficial. You can also create categories on other items as well. Categories can also be a great way to sort of label things as you go through, um, sort of keep a good tab on things, whether it's, you know, uh, you want to actually have sections on inactive tasks or, you know, active tasks, whatever, um, you can actually categorize it very well. You can create your own system there, uh, which can be very beneficial. Over here is the calendar section. So here you can actually see ongoing tasks, um, the ones that are overdue, but you can also see the whole week at a glance. You can also select a lot longer in advance and skip through weeks too. You can click into certain days and actually get the list of tasks. As you can see, I haven't assigned many to here, but what I have done is I sync the account, not be account with my Google Calendar, which is very beneficial. One thing I noticed when I did this is that this, as a Evernote reminder, synced natively at 7.30, at 7 p.m. yesterday to my Google Calendar, which was quite nice. So it appeared directly in line with my Google Calendar uh, and even appeared on my Fantastic L2 app. So Gmail can affect, uh, not me and not me can affect Gmail. So down here, you can actually create templates. Uh, for example, if you wanted to have a recurring activity or anything like that, or you had a list of checklist items that you wanted to have um, and you wanted to implement it in a project folder, or you just wanted to replicate it in uh, any of your, your uh, existing categories, you can do that. Um, for example, with this one, I could easily turn that into a project if I wanted to as well. So for example, I could actually create a project out of this or I can share the template. Let's say you've got an ongoing list of activities or suggestions um, and you, or you've made a template uh, or you've collected a template from someone, that's quite useful. You can also change the color and icons within here too, which is quite beneficial. Uh, that's a little bit of a nice feature there because you can actually uh, edit the actual icon over here, which is quite cool. Down here, you can actually add team members. Um, I'll explain the pricing a bit later, um, but you can actually add a lot of team members if you wish. Um, it's obviously a project management service, so it's aimed at uh, effective uh, teams and trying to collaborate with them. Over here, you can actually see the uh, search area, which is quite nice. Uh, very beneficial for searching across the entire uh, of these areas and also any past searches too. You know, settings are very, very simple. Um, as you can see from here, you can edit all your account information. Um, I'll go into detail on the pricing in a bit, but you can actually sign up to an affiliate program. If you're looking to uh, set up an account today, I actually, I'm gonna put my affiliate link in the description, but you generally gain as a part of 30% of the profits from when a user signs up. So, you know, you could be funding my um, not to be servicing. I'm not gonna actually add that in there. So notifications, you can actually uh, look at the following. So you can actually see how you receive uh, notifications. Um, and you can also look at weekly reports, which could be good. And you can actually have, if you have a team, a team weekly report uh, being sent on a Monday at 8 a.m., allowing you to review all of the activities that have been activated inside of there. You can also have a push notification section, which is quite cool. Um, down here is your ability to actually see all of your integrations. So if you're looking for your email tasks to notes be um, address, uh, you can actually change that here. Um, any given time, you can update it, uh, change the nickname and PIN. Uh, if you wanted to change that for professional reasons, uh, that's uh, beneficial there. Um, you can even add, it suggests to add the email address as uh, your contacts too, uh, which is quite useful. You can connect to your Google Calendar Evernote account, which I both have. I've enabled the Evernote reminders. You can connect your Dropbox and Box account too, uh, which is very useful. You can also look at connecting your Google Drive. These all three of them work in tandem, so you can have all of your, you can attach files uh, to your tasks and projects to make the team easily accessible, which is beneficial. 
So up here, you can also have gestures as well. Um, you know, that can go into more detail on the uh, iPhone and Android app. But here, which is quite nice, not speed don't just leave you to it. They give you a real hardcore experience. They give you everything. They actually have a 10-day productivity software, but here they actually have a really strong video tutorial section. Uh, and what I recommend as well is checking out their help page. It's so mental. Their contact form is also available here, which is quite nice. They're also very active through Twitter too. And finally, down at the bottom in, com in terms of features, you can actually keep updated with Notsby and also uh, updated with any of the blog content too that they have here. Um, there are some great pieces normally posted here, which is quite nice. Just a small note as well, uh, you can actually back up your data and export your data, all of your not to be data, including excluding files attached to projects in a text file. So if you ever wanted to export that, and if you are looking to build an API um, as that, you can actually connect the API key, uh, which is here. Um, and if you ever wanted to cancel your account, it is here too. So here are the suggested plans that you can have with Notspeed. So you can have the following, uh, a free account, a pro account, or a business account. Each of these plans are free for the first 30 days, which is good for you to be able to, you know, set it up. Or, you know, uh, because a lot of the time you spend a lot of time setting up these kind of stuff. So the first 30 days are very beneficial for you to do that, or very useful for you to check the product out. So as you can see, free, you are allowed one member uh, for productive beginners and up to five active projects. And you also get the email standard support. Uh, that's just a customer service. So that's free. You can actually use that today. Um, and you also get that first 30 days free on the pro account, which is good. So the pro account is £6 per month, um, but it's billed annually just for reference. Um, so that's useful um, to know if you're looking to get the £2 discount. If not, it's £2 more per month if it billed monthly. But you can have two members included and add any additional members for three pound each, which is not bad um, compared to some other applications. For a busy professionals and individuals, they recommend it for, and you're allowed unlimited projects and project sharing. Now, if you're a business, um, this is something that the tier for business might be useful for. So it's sixty pound per month billed annually. Um, so actually, that is cheaper than their billed monthly option, which is eighty pound per month. Um, overall it pays off cheaper so have a look at that too you can have 10 members included um, and, and you can actually have six additional members at any given time and they're ideal for teams and businesses of all sizes now um, in some of the quotes that they had on the website um, they actually had a 255 million pound company who used not to be business and they were also suggesting that this tool was really good because it had a CPI compliant uh, security system. Now, that is actually the quality of a banking grade security. So, for example, if you're using NatWest or Lloyd's or any of the other banking services in the UK or America, you're looking at the same sort of security not to be has on it and its tasks. So they take the sort of security very valuable uh, as a valuable asset to you. So as you can see on the business version, you get unlimited projects, project sharing with unlimited admins and guests per project, which is quite good. So guests are really valuable, especially when you're trying to demonstrate client uh, information. Uh, you also get VIP support with dedicated account manager to help you integrate Notspeed into your company. Um, and they do quote here that uh, there are 300,000 users of Notspeed so far. Um, which is quite interesting. So something that did interest me during this review period was actually that this man here, Michael um, Slewinski, uh, is one of the not to be brands himself, really. He really does, um, I mean, it's him and a couple of other support team as well as the developer. They do really work hard um, and it looks like he's been doing some amazing work over the last nine years. That's how long not to be's been going on for. At tr sort of trying to help... Um, new productivity individuals really boost up the ground and teams really run effectively. One thing I am impressed by is uh, Michael himself runs the Productive Magazine, which I'm going to include in the link in the description. He's also well connected with Michael Hyatt, uh, which Michael Hyatt does recommend using not to be across your day. Um, and there are, I mean, I'm going to include some user experiences in this video too. There are some amazing user uh, feedback that I have been getting. Whenever I've mentioned Notspeed, it seems like 
that everything seems to be covered when you start. So those video tutorials and the interaction with Michael does go a long way. Um, and it seems really impressive. Uh, so that is everything. So what really makes Not To Be Special, I would say, is that they really do have a high quality experience. They have both high quality in their customer service and high quality in their applications. I was blown away by the iPhone app. It is a gorgeous looking application with very, I mean, this is something that I really like about applications when they get their web service, their Mac service, or iPhone, whatever service they've got, it looks like the same experience. And they did this with iOS. They did a very good job with it. Um, their high quality experience is one thing I think that stands out above anything else. Their apps are built natively and they just look great. Um, they seem to understand simple things like um, yeah, duration of a task, uh, being able to you know prioritize tasks as well. Um, I think it's a very impressive application. Something that I'm going to recommend to a few people as I go along on Twitter these days. Uh, a couple of things that I think could be potential issues. Um, there's nothing really greatly amazing about this application in terms of uh, visuals or reporting or anything like that. One thing that Todoist is good at is it allows you to break down your reporting uh, and a couple of other apps are allow you to report, uh, break down any reporting that you do have. So that's beneficial. But apart from that, uh, I wouldn't say not to be has anything amazing there. Um, and I also would suggest that uh, they somehow implement some sort of board system. That's a huge market at the moment, especially with things like Trello. Um, so once they've got their teams in there, you can maybe do and have a Kanban section to actually uh, manage your tasks. But um, I can imagine this can be used uh, quite well. So anyway, that, guys, that is the full review of Knotsby. As a someone who's tried this out for a full week, and playing around with a lot of the experiences inside this. I'm thoroughly impressed by the iPhone app. I'm thoroughly impressed by the web app. I'm thoroughly impressed by the customer service. And I'm just generally happy with an application like this. Uh, I won't be using this uh, as an ongoing use and tool. I will be using this to review and suggest to other people. I think that anyone who is looking for a productive individual um, seat should use a free version and keep your projects down to a minimum. I would also recommend uh, any really busy professionals to go with a pro account, which works out at about uh, 12 times 6 equals around about uh, 50, 60, 70, 75 pound a year, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, and then any businesses can check out that. But anyway, guys, I hope this video was useful and insightful. I want to be doing some more reviews in the near future, so please let me know if you'd like me to cover anything else. Thank you very much, everyone. Drop me an email at cesidalessio at gmail.com if you need any support. Uh, just let me know. Thank you very much. Make sure you have a great week. Keep productive, and I'm looking forward to the next video. Cheers, guys.